Oh man. It's all you. Both times hit it real soft. No way. That's that's <laughs> the fish I lost. I, I did like kind of an intro, and I'm like, I don't know if I'll use that or not. I'm gonna do something else. It's always the awkward part. Yeah. <laughs> well, here I am. I've been trying to do this uh, Michigan trip for uh, a few weeks now, months. I don't know. I've been wanting to do a big trip, and I'm so glad to be doing something up here. And we're in a, I'm in an awesome river that could be anything in here. Could be big, some big fish. But uh, you know, one of the most important things is is who who you fish with. It's not always where you fish, it's who you fish with. So, online outdoorsman. Uh, Ethan invited me up. He just enjoys fishing. He, he also loves catching anything. So uh, I know we're gonna have fun. <laughs> small fish. <laughs> we don't we don't care if they're big or small. But this is a river that has some bigger fish. So what yep. can we catch in here? You think? Small mouth, pike, large mouth. We could probably catch some sunfish and whatnot if we bust out the ultralight. Really, it should be pretty diverse. So I'm gonna bring a little bit of everything, and hopefully we just catch a lot of everything. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I always like catching everything. I, I'm definitely. I want to target some big smallmouth and some pike. So um, he's got his uh, Old Town kayak, same as me. We're loading up and we're going to get out and do some floating. And um, I don't know what to expect, but we're also going to fish a few days. So we're going to fish a couple days up here and probably do a few different videos. So if you're seeing this one, be looking for some other ones. So enough rambling. I, gotta get, I can't wait to get out here and uh, start fishing. Dude, I am jacked up. I'm getting woke up here. I hate mornings, and uh, I don't know if I said it earlier, but usually if I get up early, it's only because somebody invited me <laughs> or I'm in a new place. This river, we're, I was thinking, uh, Ethan said we were gonna go out in this river, and I'm like, where are we gonna take out? I'm used to getting in and taking out, but we're just, I'm paddling right up it. It's pretty clear, but it's like cloudy. It's a perfect day for fishing. This is, this is the perfect fishing weather. No, not yet. I mean, I, there we go. Fish on. Oh, he's digging. Oh, he's better than I thought. I've got a half a netting. Boom. Well, the yum dinger strikes first. I guess Ethan's not a liar. <laughs> Nah, we're just getting started. Let me take a look at this smallmouth here. Ooh. Oh man. That's what I came for. Some northern smallmouth. It's kind of windy and like weird, dark feeling. Oh man. Nice and fat. Good smallie right there. <laughs> it's just a little one. Chunky. There we go. This is it. Oh, come on. Had two hits right there. Yeah, there we go. Right on the bridge pylon. It hit the water as soon as I turned it, he smoked it. Yeah. Little black chopo. Little chopo action. I think I've had three hits. I threw this up there by the bridge. This is where Ethan was trying to get us to. So we were like, get to the bridge and that's where this, some more fish should be. I'm coming for some bigger fish. For this river, I'm only like bringing bigger lures. I would be like super excited if it was on a lighter stuff, but I just know what this kind of river could hold. So, hey, I'm, I'm not I'm not mad about starting out with that, but I really am today looking for some of those bigger fish or some pike. And a snack. Oh, me and Ethan snag same time. Just trying to be like him. There we go. What is that? Oh, a little smaller. Okay, I think I've had some hits. I guess they're probably these littler ones. I just expect everything to be giant up here. You know, even these little ones look awesome though. They're built pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
What was that? Something. Something pulled it. Am I on the board? What? It ran right at me. Woo! Nice small job, baby. Let's go. All right, well, uh, it just got serious. I was up 3 nothing. It's a tie game now. He's got three fish in a row over here. I gotta get one. He got me down the leads. I think he might have got off. Oh, am I still in the lead? I'm feeling good. <laughs> the competition has started. Yeah, yeah, it's on now. <laughs> <laughs> GoPro, stop recording. Oh, oh, what was that? Okay. <laughs> GoPro, Dude, they dig like crazy, don't they? Especially in this grass. Come out! All right, second. Ah! Oh, I'm stuck. I'm hung up. I'm in the. I'm in the grass and in the grass. There he is. Boys. That little dude. Oh, I got him out. Man, look at this solid that guy looks. That was on the hooker mate there. Woo! He's stocky. All right. There we go, it's number three, or four, I don't know. Got a bunch of trees over here. He's hitting that grass over there. I don't know which one the fish are really holding to. We're gonna find something out. It's time for that big one to come out. Come on. What should I throw, spinnerbait? Let's go spinnerbait. Come on, pikes. There's gotta be a pike in these trees. Yep, there we go. What is it, what is it? Oh, it's a smallmouth. Right off the trees. I thought I was, I was hoping for a pike, but I'll take it. My biggest one today. Nice. All right, not big enough for a full pitcher and everything yet. We're looking for that pitcher fish. Come on, I need that pitcher one. Just saw a pike. Followed my lure up. Time for the spinner. I'm gonna get this out of the way. Just saw me a pike. There we go. Oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? It may be a pike. It's something big. Oh, it is a pike. I think I got it hooked in the mouth too. Yes, 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 yes. I think I got him hooked or he won't break me off. The little guy. Oh, don't get, oh, no, no, no. There he is, there he is. Yeah! I got a pike! Whew, this is what I wanted. I wanted to get one of these. Nothing giant, but it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah! That's cool right there. These guys got such big mouths. They can eat. I got it off the bottom. So I threw spinnerbait for a while, nothing. Went back to Yumdinger, just dance, bouncing off the bottom. Got my first pike today. All right, there we go. First pike, caught on the Yumdinger. Um, Ethan said there's a good chance of getting one. Is that an average size about there? Yeah, they, they can get bigger than that for sure, but that's a standard yeah that was pretty cool it was a fun fight it didn't break me off so i'm glad i love to get different fish that i'm not used to getting around me so we'll go ahead and throw them back in nice uh, you know those yeah. <laughs> that was pretty cool right there how long have we been out here two almost two and a half hours just over two hours really so it's been a pretty productive day there's lots of fish in these waters i'd love to get a big pike or a big small mouth but now that i've got small with and pike i'm i'm pretty happy uh, i'm gonna Eat a little snack here. I'm getting a little hungry. There we go. You're right. They're on this side. <laughs> I just fished a whole side over there. Nothing. Ethan just had a good one. And uh, I want to switch to the... I figure I'll switch to the Rebel Crawl. Because... Start covering some water. It's... The bite's been a little... A little weird. Real still trying to figure out some stuff.
Thanks, Molly. Oh, I'm gonna eat through my lure up again. That's the only bad thing about the mule niggers, they fall off. But that's about the only thing I can get a bite on today. Had that last pike through it, and he, it was definitely a pike, he hit and cut me off right away. And even that little guy throws it uh oh, We have definitely like, I said, wouldn't say like struggle, but we thought we'd be catching more fish. And uh, it's just been weird, but we've only been out like maybe three and a half hours now. And uh, I keep I keep changing up different lures. I go back to that young dinger, like fish it down, bounce it off the bottom, and that's why I'm getting fish. I haven't had any pike follow on like fast moving lures. Oh, oh, I missed it. I have no idea. It sounded like one. He exploded on it. Yeah, that's a pike. That dude came out of the water for that thing. That's what I've been waiting on. That's what we've been waiting on right there. That kind of hit. <laughs> that was awesome. I missed one. It may be the same one. That dude came up out of the water and hit. That's the kind of hit I've been waiting to get. Got a. Uh. Just a small buzz bait with a little toad on it. Let's turn around and get it in the sun. Man, that makes it an exciting catch. Oh man. That was fun. Oh I got a whole hole in his uh in his lip there. But supposedly these guys are real hardy. Such a cool fish. Alright, we're gonna get him back. You little toothy monster. There's this like this grass and there's like a little shallow area right there and um, I had a hit right there Where's my fan? Right there and then he hit right there. So let's do this some more Go Feels like a solid fish Yeah, ah! he soaked me yeah. Oh yeah. Ah. Well, it was worth it. I proved something to myself. I was just, I see this big old elvish tree overhang and I'm casting on the outside. I'm thinking if I was a fish, I'm gonna be up in there thicker. I get a cast way up in there and I get a hit. Came off, but. Like, just because you can't cast to an area doesn't mean there's not fish there. <laughs> That's where the fish hide, and they're good at hiding in these thick in the brush sometimes. There we go. I got him again. Well, that might be a really good fish. Oh, yes. Yeah. There we go. Ah! I missed that fish twice. I think I was about a two pound largemouth. Dang, that looked big, dude. Yeah, he was thick. I think that was bigger than two pounds from back here. It may have been. I'm pretty sure that's the same fish I missed twice. I threw, had to throw way up in there to get him to bite. There's no, uh, the beef jerky, the beef jerky always comes through, you know. Fish might not be there. Beef jerky's there for you. I mean, if you overeat, if you overconsume beef jerky, you're gonna feel it. <laughs> but you know, yeah. Oh. I'd say, is this gonna say mule fishing beef jerky? Dude, I wish. If Get I that, ever have a, a that, beef jerky company, then you know I've made it. <laughs> <laughs> mule fishing beef jerky sounds awesome. <laughs> it does sound awesome. I think you could do it. Yeah, there's probably, there's probably a ton in there. I just can't get a cast in there very good. But two cast, I put two casts right up, right up in there. Hit it right away, and it came off. Came back. You must have both times hit it real soft. No way. Yes, sir. Oh, it's a nice large mouth. Dude, maybe the, is that the same one I just lost? That's, <laughs> that's the fish I lost. 
No, no, this one's mine. You have no, no. That's a good largemouth. <laughs> That's a solid fish. I'm gonna take a picture with you in the background. All right, I'm gonna come get a picture. Celebrity. Here. They've got numerous brands, but technically speaking, come on, stay on there. He hit it on the way up. Oh, nice. There we go. That is a black one, isn't it? Oh, come here. I need, I need a picture of this one. Get in the net. I'm struggling here. Go for the start recording. Yee! There we go. That's my best one today. 15 and a half. The action has picked up. It's been uh, starting to be a little bit more consistent instead of just like passing all kinds of ground without no bites. There we go. There we go. Oh, solid fish there. Got him out of that tree. Big old tree stuff. Or uh, jam right there. This is a good one. Oh, there's another there's another one behind it. And a big one behind it. This is a good one, there's another good one behind it. Maybe I'll be able to get him, I don't know. Let me get this guy in. Oh, pretty fish right here. Alright, let's get in here. This is the kind of fish I wanted to get. Like some, give me some solid 15 inches. Finally got a couple of good ones here. That uh, may be 14, but a thick, pretty Michigan smallmouth right there. Got him out of that log jam. And that's weird for me catching smallmouth out of a log jam usually. It's usually, I'm expecting largemouth and spots maybe. But um, these guys have been all over the place. There was another one, so we put them back in there and we get back to fishing. It's another one on the uh, Yum Dinger. I don't know, I don't have a, this is the only thing I can have any confidence in right now. And, but it's working. It's getting some fish. All right, so at this point, we've had an okay day. It's been kind of weird. I'm about brain dead. All right, well, Ethan gave his update, but yeah, we, we've, we've been going up river the whole time. Time turn around, both getting kind of hungry. And what the thing we're planning to do is like just end this video here. I'm probably gonna do i mean i've caught a lot of fish been a little weird couldn't get it on like a big pattern and didn't get a giant but i got plenty more fishing up in this michigan trip this is my second day in michigan so i got several more days i'm gonna be fishing up here and do lots of stuff so hopefully it's some more giant fish but definitely more fishing with ethan i want to throw this thing some i've been going through what what lure have you figured out that's just your best lure to catch a fish today um just to be clear nothing's catching them really well i would say my best lure has been the tube yeah a little like four inch tube just on a, a texas rig with five sixteen pounds and i'm basically fishing the yumdinger the same way maybe a little bit lighter jig head but that's that's definitely been the thing that's got the most fish so um i don't know anything could happen and there's definitely i saw a couple pike follow my lure so i'm gonna throw some bigger lures and start heading back downstream as long as the wind doesn't blow us upstream exactly like the one i caught earlier <laughs> the same fish i hooked earlier made his way to a different part of the river. Yeah, he was just waiting, hit again. Oh gosh, he got hooked. See, this is why you shouldn't use dang trailer hook. I got a hook and a trailer hook in him. Yeah, he was getting that front one all the way. Hey, we got him though. So what you, oh, he's got a nasty beat up side on this side. Oh, I'm about to hook your rod. Oh gosh. Oh, <laughs> saved the day right there. Look at that little pickle. <laughs> That's Mr. Pickles. See ya, bud. Can't even turn around. Uh, we should have fished our grass. I know, that's what I was thinking. Oh well, I'm done, I'm, I'm ready to eat. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That's gonna wrap up the video. We actually got done finishing and then went over uh, awesome little town of Lul and ate at this little place and uh, just talked fishing and, and YouTube and stuff like that. But dude, awesome fishing at the Grand River. And definitely the day, the day was a little odd. Uh, we talked about that. Actually, we're about to pull over here. We're about to pull over here and do some more fishing, but I'm gonna end this video out. Dude, thanks so much, Ethan, inviting me out, and hopefully we get some more fishing in. Ooh, this place looks good. You're gonna wanna see this next video. I think we're gonna do some waiting. So we got some kayaking in. Gonna do some waiting right here. If you don't know who Ethan, the online outdoorsman is, go check out his channel. I'll leave the information in the video description. Thanks for watching.
I'm gonna get back to it. I got a lot of fishing to do up here in Michigan.